If you actually the hangovered in this place, you'd be bankrupt. Hello and welcome to another video. Today, we're gonna be giving you guys a tour of the $25,000 a night hotel room we stayed in for our bachelor slash bachelorette party in Vegas. We don't always try to get the hookup when we're in Vegas. In fact, we never try. We usually just like walk around the fashion show mall or try to get into the Gordon Ramsay restaurant. But this time we wanted to live like influencers, just so we could say we did it at least once. Now this video was actually filmed a little while ago when we went to Vegas back in October. October with our groomsmen and bridesmaids for a joint pre-marital fiesta. It wasn't quite the hangover levels of debauchery. No one yanked out their own tooth whilst blackout. But we did have a great time and we definitely wanted to share with you guys a look into this extravagant suite. You see that stuff over there? That's still our hotel room. So let's start off by saying a huge thank you to the Westgate for putting us up in this hotel room for a weekend. It was, in a word, Gilded. The whole place has a very classic over-the-top Vegas feel. In fact, this is actually where Elvis used to perform back in the 70s, and our suite might have been where Elvis used to live while in Vegas. And if it couldn't get more Vegasy, we were also next door to Barry Manilow's suite that he stays at while in residence at the Westgate. Though I can't say we had any Manilow sightings. That's all to say it was an awesome once-in-a-lifetime experience. So without further ado, here is our bachelor slash bachelorette party hotel room. Roll the tape. Hello. Why, hello there. Hi. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Come on in. This is our uh, Barry Manilow version of Vogue 72 questions. Slash cribs slash where are we? How is this happening? How is this happening? Yes. All right. So welcome to this giant Westgate Sky Villa, which is where we've been staying for our bachelor slash bachelorette party. Bachelor slash bachelorette is like incredibly difficult to say. We're here. Yay. It's a bachelorette, bachelorette. Bachelor, bachelor party. So I'm just gonna flub it up every time. Um, shall we take a tour of the villa? Of what? the 14,000 square foot? 14,000 square feet, yes. 14,000 square foot villa. All right, so this is the entryway. Come this way into the foyer, yay. One thing you'll notice right off the bat when you look at this foyer, I'm not sure if that's the right term, but that's what I'm calling it, is the multiple horses. Many horses. The many horses. There will be a few more horses in this tour. I actually asked about the horses and um, our host said that there was no reason for them and it just happened. <laughs> so this is not a particularly horse themed place, but there are many horses here. Ignore our bags in the corner. You could just not film those. I tried not to, but I, I'm I'm trying to fight the sunlight. Also, it is sort of like dusky time, so we might lose the light halfway through our tour, but you know, we're just living. There's also some turf down here. Oh, I was gonna draw attention to the turf. There's yeah. like a grassy knoll. It could have been a koi pond once upon a time. It's yeah. probably good that it's not a koi pond. You don't want to Michael Scott it. No. And just Another thing that I would like to draw attention to is the ceiling, because there are many like Renaissance style frescoes. Oh, and there are more horses up there. Oh, there it is. Look at those cherubs. Cherubs and horses. There you go. It's very dramatic. Yeah. I'm not sure if the horses were not intentional because it feels intentional. <laughs> it feels intentional. All right, so that's the foyer. Shall we go this way? Yeah. All right, let's continue on. Here we have a marvelous bust of Julius Caesar. Is it Caesar? Maybe. I don't know if Caesar's ever that bearded. I don't know. There's no title. I'm just assuming. He, he's there. Just me and my dude, my friend, my statue friend. And then, you know, we have more of this like large hallway. Uh, we have a, a grand grandfather clock, a grandfather clock right here. Oh. See, that's the same guy, right? I didn't realize there was a second one. Really? I literally, the entire time, thought it was just one of them. You're just having like lots of deja vu? Wait, there's literally a second bust right here. Yeah, okay. well we have two sides of the, ha the hallway. Someone else, maybe Julius Caesar, maybe not. It's just Beardy. We're gonna call him Beardy 1 and Beardy 2. Okay, got it, yeah. I almost walked to that painting, that was bad. Um, should let's... we go through that that direction or should we go through this this grand hallway oh, over here? Oh, sorry. I wanna go through the pillars. Okay, let's go through the pillars. I'm trying to give the full experience here, Sophia. I'm walking backwards, that's hard. I know, you are. So um, this is the main room, the main living area, living, sitting, dining, everything area, basically. I'm gonna pivot this way first and then we'll see the other angle. What would pivot which way? Like I'm, this, you go that I'm way. I'm going this way? Okay, yeah. oh wow. Do you see it? That is was it, a good move, yeah. yeah. Okay, 
that's that. Yeah. <laughs> there's like a sitting area and then like a bar all the way down there. And then there's like another little sitting area kind of like to the right. That sitting area is great, by the way. Yeah. These are uh, borderline orgasmic lazy boys over here. Now they're not facing the TV, but that's okay for the most part. This one sort of is. Yeah. What about this one? Try this one. This one's got the leg up thing. No, I like it. Oh, well, I can't show off the lazy boy action here. <laughs> Stop. My hairy legs. Uh, yep. Sorry, I just want to show everybody. I'm just very comfortable over here, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to highlight the pros and the cons of this hotel room. If you want to do a, oh, hello. Did I do a quick pan right yeah, there? Yeah, a quick pan. Yeah. Uh, you can see the uh, King Arthur table, as I've called it. It is very King Arthur. A very large round table. Very sturdy, marble, just a, a hunk of a table. And then we have a grand piano. One of Tyler's groomsmen, actually, yes. knows a thing or two about pianos and says this piano is very schmancy. It's $100,000, apparently, <laughs> yes. It is so cool, but again, I question who let us in here. We ask who let the dogs out and who let us in here. One thing I want to note before we go into the outside area yes. is another horse. There is another horse, but completely accidental. Do you yes. think some guy goes, hey, I just realized there's horses everywhere. They're on the ceiling. We painted them. We bought them. And he's like, that's just a coincidence. It's just a coincidence. It, it all be. just came together. Yeah. It was just like Elvis Presley sitting around being like, I like horses. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some horses in there. All right. Shall we go outside before the sun completely sets the on us? The sun is setting on us. Let's all do right, this. Let's do it. We're fighting the Earth's rotation right now. Boom! Is this a reveal? Is this a reveal? Can you see it? I kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome to our pool. Yeah, we got more turf here, some good stuff. Two things, so many things. So I, many things. There's so many things. <laughs> One is, yes, this pool is encompassed by our hotel room. Yeah. Like, that's our hotel room, and then that is also our hotel room. Yes. So like, it's not like, oh, this is like the end of it. And two is that, yes, this pool is just for this room, basically. Yes. It's only for this room. How is the temperature of the pool, by the way? It's not just like a giant hot tub, is it? No, it's a, it's a pool. No, it's a pool, but it's definitely a warm temperature. Good temperature? Yeah, it's nice. It's not like a swimming temperature. It's like a sitting temperature. I did not enter that pool, so I was just curious. Yeah. Oh, I did. It, it was fun. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's basically this situation. Shall we go to see the master bedroom? I'm waiting for it. All right, let's do it. Let's but go in this way. Okay, let's go this way. This is the only hotel room I've ever been in that has two different different hallways. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, shall we? Yeah. Let's go this way. This way. Oh, look, here's someone to greet us. I was looking at this person earlier. I do not know who it is. A nice painting. I don't know who it is either. I can't actually glean much from her outfit or anything. So. No, she's got a giant golden egg. Oh, yeah. All right, so we've got like this little like um study area over here. We did not much studying. I would say, but there is a study here. Yeah. Shall we go to the bathroom or the bedroom first? We should go into the bedroom because we're gonna be in the bathroom for like 15 minutes. That is fair. It's very deep. All right, so this is the master bedroom. Yeah. Ta-da! Oh yeah. It has a great view of the pool and then also the like sort of sitting room. Yeah, but to be fair, people have great views of you. I think I was walking around here in my, my undies a few times and I got seen, but that's okay. I think my favorite part about this room is like the fresco behind the bed. Yeah. Because there's like a whole like column situation. And then if you can see, there's like windows to the fresco. Yeah, I was saying it kind of looks like Cher's mom from Clueless. Oh, Just yeah. a little bit, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see that. All right, there's one thing I want to show you guys before we go into the master bathroom. Okay. But it's also a bath. <laughs> okay, so right off of the master bedroom is this tub? Yeah. Like sunken into the floor, giant marble tub. This is like, for some reason, to me, like one of the most like luxurious things about the place. <laughs> Why? Because it's like a giant jacuzzi is sunken into the ground, like next to your bed. Cause it's just like so superfluous, right? It feels a little like high roller, Hugh Hefner. It does. Kind of like, old timey villain a little bit. You know old what I mean? Old timey villain? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were gonna say Donny Osmond almost. Like, you know, like oh, well, you are like a Tom that. Jones, like a Vegas performer. Actually, what we were told is that this tub played the role of Liberace's tub in a movie one time. The other thing is we have not gone into the bathroom yet, but this is not the only tub in the master suite alone. This is the no. third tub actually. You guys will see the tubs. Okay, so we're going to the master bathroom right yes. now, guys. We've kind of hyped it up and I feel like it will live up to its expectations. All right, so here is the master bathroom. It is very marble and very full of places to bathe, like so filled with places to bathe. <laughs> there is 
One shower, two showers. Two a showers. One a shower, two a shower. <laughs> one large bath in this situation. And then what's interesting to me is that one would expect that this would be like most of the bathroom, but there's like a lot of stuff back here. Yes. There's like a lot of things, space, like, I don't know. <laughs> well, this is 14,000 square feet total. I'm gonna say about 4,000 square feet this entire place is closet space, vanities, and bathrooms. Yeah, because yes. here we've got one vanity. One vanity. A chest of something. That's the path of Narnia. A like full walk-in closet back here here, yes. basically. A water closet over here. You've yeah. got, you know, your toilet, your bidet. They're very bidet heavy. Have you taken B-roll of the bidets yet, Tyler? They're really dark. Unfortunately, they're not gold bidets, um, so I haven't got a great shot, but I think everyone gets the idea of they're a bidet. They're not solid gold bidets. I'm offended. I was let down about that I'm specifically. Just, they have gold hardware, at least. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Okay, I'll give another shot of the yeah, bidet. Yeah, just, I mean, it's okay. That's the bidet and the toilet. You know, I never really use bidets. They really, I don't know what I'm supposed to do you with them. You are missing out. <laughs> Is that your way of saying you use the bidet? I mean, when we were on our Asia trip, there you have bidets everywhere. Well, that's not the same thing. I mean, I you get in front of a good electric thing. bidet. It's the, it's the non-electric bidets. Oh. An electric bidet, you know, they just have so much more accuracy. Okay, here is another water closet. Yes. Have you just been following me? Everyone's totally disoriented because it's just a labyrinth back here. Yeah, and there's another bidet. And it's really the same bathroom. It's the same thing, but there's another one. Yes. It's kind of like the busts. It feels like one big loop. Just kind a of. little bit, yeah. All right, so that was this side, I guess, basically. Yes. We saw the bathroom, the bedroom, the prefect's bath. Uh -huh. We saw the hallway and we saw this lady, right? Yeah. We saw the pool. We saw the main area, the foyer. The horses. The horses. <laughs> we saw all of the horses. Some of the horses. And now we have to go see the two other bedrooms and their adjoining bathrooms. Which we can't get to particularly fast. We have to go like back that way, basically. Yes. Shall we? Let's go. All right, so now we're back in our sort of like first hallway, kind yes. of. I've got a, a Julius Caesar to either side. That's how you geolocate us right now. Yeah, do your plane directing. Tyler and the King Arthur round table, unidentified Roman man busts. All right, should we go this way? Do you wanna go this way first? This is a good one. This is a great one. This is a bedroom suite inside of the suite. It has this like nice little like, I don't know, like Tuscan or like Roman garden vibe to it Are there. we gonna have to censor these statues? Maybe. Uh, well, after closer inspection, I think so. All right, so then this is the bedroom. Um, as you can see, there is a mirror on the ceiling. Very scandalous. And it only has the bottom half of the bed, which is, uh, I think, more scandalous in its own way. It, yeah. is, it is kind of more scandalous. Yeah. Although from here, I can see the whole bed. I guess it depends on your angle. So in this bedroom, you have a bed, and then you have another like fresco column situation back here. I like this one because it has a lot of perspective to it. You're like in a garden. It's bringing it full circle. You're yeah. in a garden. Um, and then over here, unfortunately, it is nighttime now, so we can't see out of the window. This tour took a long time. But this is a viewing position. Yeah. A viewing room. So you can imagine me here with some coffee in the morning, just sitting and looking. I suppose. You need places to sit and look. It looks like literally a mirror right now because it's nighttime. But during the day, you can see out of it. That's like that, that, that tower thing. Oh, you can see something. Yeah, that's what you can see. All right, shall we go deeper? Oh, yes. All right, so that was the bedroom and the lookout point. Now come into the bathroom. More statues, more statues. Hello, statues. Another study area. They say, we know you want to go to the casinos, but maintain your studious nature. Party hard, study hard. There you go. And this room is the room I like to call the uh, Minnesota of bathrooms. It's the land of a thousand bathtubs. Oh. <laughs> no, I did like, not get that. No, it was a slow burn. This uh, became like the like girls bathroom this weekend just because there were like so many showers and so many mirrors in here. This bathroom is less labyrinthic than like the master bathroom, but there are more places to bathe. It's not smaller. So you can see you have one bathtub, two bathtubs. It's an Oprah. One shower, yeah. two shower. You is get there a shower. third shower back there? Uh, that would be incredible. Wait, um, no, it's 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 a water closet. Okay. Sorry, I don't mean to say that like I am disappointed because there are still four places to bathe in here. And what's great is, you know, you could all see each other. You could have someone in the giant bath, someone in the oval bath, watching the people in the showers. It's very Greco-Roman. Yeah, you know, it's 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 just, it's a party. And they have another bidet. I think our bidet to bachelor slash bachelorette party participant ratio was pretty impressive. 
Definitely. I feel like bidets outnumbered guests. We were like New Zealand. Per capita ratio, very strong. Very high. Okay, so I think that's actually it for this suite, but we do have one other bedroom suite to visit. It's our last one. If you're keeping track, we're in the final rung here. <laughs> All right, this way. It's actually right by the entrance, but it's like we didn't want to go in there first. No, 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 no. But it is secretly next to the entrance. It's for fast exits. Yeah, if you want to sneak in and out, then this is the bedroom for you. Come this way. I think this room is sick, by the way, actually. Here it is. The third and final bedroom suite inside of our giant hotel room. Once again, I do enjoy like the perspective we've got on this fresco here. I like the sort of like immersive feel. Yeah. It's like, hey, is this hotel room not big enough for you? Well, here's an optical illusion. <laughs> Don't miss another study area. And also a giant old timey globe. Which is kind of cool actually, I it like It is that. cool. I wonder when it's from. Well, it says America. So it's like at least 16th century-ish. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I literally have no idea. <laughs> All right, so that's the bedroom area, and then we have another bathroom. If you guys thought that we had had enough of bathrooms, you were wrong. You were so wrong. Sorely mistaken, yes. Oh, what were you thinking? I don't know. Look at this hallway into this bathroom. This is so much space. They don't even just have walk-in closets. They have like walking closets. Yeah. Like, you have to like move through them. Oh, you walk around inside of them. Yeah. It's well, walk around closets. All right, so wait, I don't want to go here first. Okay. I want to note the bathtub. Don't forget the Onyx bathtub. The the onyx bathtub and the fireplace. And what seems like a precarious phone right next to it, but you know, who's keeping track? This shower is one giant shower yeah. with two entrances. This is a sensual shower. Why is it a sensual shower? Well, you know, if you've got two entrances, presumably there are more than one person in here. Wow, that was grammatically so incorrect. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so there is one door to the shower, yeah. and then this is another door to the shower back here. Maybe if you just refuse to enter and exit through the same door, this would be perfect for you. You're like, no, I have to just walk in a straight line. And then we go ever deeper. Ever deeper. Yes, yes. More mirrors. Another water closet. Let me turn the lights on. Do we have a bidet? Do we Is have a bidet? Is that even a question? Yeah, we have a bidet, of course. Literally, why would you even ask that? I was just making sure. No, it's... there is a bidet for every toilet, and there is a bidet also for every person. All right, so we've got water closet, walk-in closet, vanity, full-length mirror, two-door shower, sink, bathtub. What's over there? Same situation? Same situation. All right, let's take a look. It seems like pretty, um, I don't want to say standard because it's not standard, but for this hotel room, the standard set of rooms that come with your bathroom is two sets of walk-in closets and two water closets, two vanities, and a partridge in a pear tree. Exactly. All right. So I think we've seen everything there is to see in this hotel room, mostly. Mostly. I can't guarantee we got every single square inch of it because there are so many of those square inches, but that's like the general layout, the general idea. Definitely the wildest and most extravagant hotel room I've ever been in and probably will ever be in. It's pretty amazing. It's. I don't want to say a monument, but that's the word that comes to mind. It's like a monument to Las Vegas. Definitely. The whole place to me like really conveys like classic and archetypal Vegas where it's just like bold, ostentatious, and ready to party. I mean, there's two doors in that shower. Come on, guys. Come on. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to smash or gently tap that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, you can smash or gently tap that subscribe button. And a big thank you to the Westgate for letting us stay in this wild hotel room. I'm gonna be honest, it's gonna be a wedding present that's hard to top. It's not on the registry. No, we didn't register for this, but somehow we ended up here. Here are our social media handles and here is our cat. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye Vegas. Bye. Until next time.